Dr. Jill Rubin and I'm part of the Mobile Vet Connection. We offer all sorts of interesting services to our clients. We see all kinds of animals from dogs and cats to hedgehogs to guinea pigs and rabbits and turtles and sometimes even exotic animals like monkeys and tigers. And we have an integrative practice here. So we do acupuncture, herbology, um, we do chiropractics and we actually even do laser therapy and we do um, detox foot baths as well for your pet. So this is Blaze and he has a very severe case of arthritis and a bad back. He was uh, knocked over by another pig about seven years ago and it it basically paralyzed him so um, we've been working really hard with him he's up and able to move and walk and we were using um, acupuncture and chiropractics and some Chinese herbs and some Western medicine as well so he's very used to us handling him although his will gripe quite a bit you may not be able to hear me when I'm doing some of the procedures but we usually uh, bribe him with a peppermint he likes peppermint and we usually lay them on something soft. With pigs, you can bribe them with food. They're really an easy patient. So basically, with uh, people and with dogs and cats, we do a, what we call a tongue and a pulse diagnosis for acupuncture. And with pigs, it's a little more difficult and challenging. So basically, I'm just treating him for pain today. So what we'll do is we'll grab some needles. And I have all different sizes. And we'll get down here with them. And we'll see how he does today. We also have a shock for him called Adequan, which is for arthritis. And we'll also be lasering him, lasering him afterwards as well. So I'm going to give him a shot. He probably won't like it. Right in the right, right in the wrong Pretty good patient. He just talks a lot. And that'll help with his mobility. And it also helps to strengthen his joints and uh, helps him walk quite a bit better. So let's see if we can get some acupuncture needles in him. Right up here is the shin or the, the calming uh, acupuncture needle and sometimes it basically will create some sort of a sedation for him. And a lot of times animals really like acupuncture, they'll actually go to sleep, they'll, they'll lay down and rest. And you can see I put the needle and he didn't even bother, he didn't seem to care. And as long as we keep giving him little treats and cookies, he's a really good patient actually. We're going to treat all along his uh, spinal column. And sometimes the needles are hard to get into a pig. You can see they bend. I use the extra long ones. We have large and small animal needles as well. Let's see if that seats in. Sometimes we turn the needles to create energy and to cause more endorphin release. If you look at his, his hair, it's actually standing up on end, and that means he likes it feels good. His hair was all slicked back when we started and it'll start to stand up because they actually get kind of sleepy. I know. Acupuncture works on all species. Okay, there we go. Peppermint? He's still eating so the needles really aren't bothering him at all. And those needles will sit anywhere like I said from 30 to 60 minutes at a time and usually when they lay down we start to laser them as well. So once we get them settled I'll go ahead and start the laser. The laser machine is actually called a cold laser. It will create um, and, and help with mobility and arthritis. It actually will decrease his back pain and it's excellent for bringing circulation to the tissues and it keeps them moving more freely. So, and it's a non-invasive procedure. You'll see when I set up the machine, the probe will actually radiate a laser into his skin and um, he'll actually feel quite a bit better. So let me, let me get him back on the blanket. Okay, so you can see the little laser light in there. You're not supposed to stare at that. That we actually take this and we'll wave it over him. And you can feel it. Move it a little closer. It's easier to move the machine than the pig. See the light glowing against his body there? And wherever we put that light will actually help with the inflammation of pain. And the needles actually are working as well. So we can kind of get a double whammy at the same time. So this goes on for about anywhere from 8 to 13 minutes. We're going to complete his treatment and stop. It doesn't have any sort of uh, feeling. It doesn't hurt the animal at all. In fact, like I said, most of the time it generally relaxes them. And so we can take our glasses off now because our laser's turned off. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove the needles from Blaze um, one at a time and then we'll give him a chiropractic adjustment. So he's going to be feeling really good after this. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah. It's called an activator tool, and it's very similar to what the human chiropractors use. This one's geared for animals. It has different adjustments on it. It can actually um, adjust anything from the size of a horse all the way down to a parakeet. Basically what this does is it acts like a high-pressure sledgehammer, and it will hit basically into the muscle and cause the muscle to relax, almost like a chiropractic adjustment or somebody realigning your spine. And if you can hear the duller sound in this area, that's primarily where his arthritis is. You can actually hear it thudding. Sometimes we can actually hear where the arthritis is using this tool. See his hair standing up again? I'm actually liking it. And I know for a fact that he likes it because he's not running away. There we go. And that completes his whole pain treatment for the day. Girl. My goal is to get the entire world to look at animals and treat them the way they deserve to be treated and not just put them in the backyard and leave them alone and make sure that they're properly fed and they're housed and sheltered properly so that way they live a long healthy life. They're very important in our lives. A lot of people can heal better having an animal. They live longer. It's been proven that people actually live longer when they have animals. So I want to make sure people know how important it is that they have pets and that it can create longevity and health as well. And it also is a great stress reliever to come home to a happy wagging tail and a great big lick in the face. So I want to make sure that you understand that your pets are trying to communicate with you and how important it is to listen to them, look at their body language, and make sure that you're treating them with the utmost respect. I'm Dr. Jill Rubin, and I'm here for you and the animals.